Hey foodies, I love carrot cake. So let's make a gluten-free carrot cake with a cream cheese icing. But first, we need to look at the recipe. Seems pretty straightforward. We're gonna start by adding our Frankie's all-purpose flour, our sugar, our baking soda, our baking powder, our salt, and our cinnamon. And we're gonna mix all this up until it's a bit, until it's combined. Okay, it doesn't take long to combine it. So now you're gonna add your water and your salad oil. All right. And I'm gonna add half of the amount of my vanilla. There we go. And I'm gonna mix this up. Okay, so now I'm gonna add my eggs and I'm gonna crack these into a separate bowl just so that I don't have any issues with Maybe I get a shell in there and I can pull it out, or maybe one of the eggs is turned. And that way I'm not ruining my entire cake. There we go. Put that in. Mix that up. Okay, I'm gonna scrape the walls down of the, of the mixing bowl. This is where I'm gonna add my carrots. Oops, got a few on the outside. There we go. And my currants. You can use raisins, currants, pretty much whatever you want. You can even omit them if you want, because I know a few people don't like don't like raisins. Look at how fluffy this looks. It looks great. I had this on, on a high beat for at least two minutes and it just, it brought in so much air. It's gonna be a nice fluffy cake. I can't wait to sink my teeth in this when it's baked. Okay. Feel free to add pineapple to your, your cake. You could even add some zucchini if you wanted. But I like my carrot cake just with carrots, really. And a few raisins or currants. This recipe makes great muffins as well. So you could scoop these into muffin tins and have individual muffins. But I felt like making a cake today. So I'm going to put this in the oven and bake it until a skewer is inserted and it comes out clean. So while that's baking in the oven, let's make the cream cheese icing. So we've got our mixer again. And we're going to mix up the cream cheese. And the butter, why not? Throw it all in. Oh, that smells good. Okay, so I'm gonna scrape down the walls of the mixer again.
Okay, and then I'm gonna add my vanilla and my icing sugar. One more scrape and then it's done. Okay. Mm. Okay, so that's all ready for when the cake is ready. Oh, look at this carrot cake. Oh, it looks great. So I'm gonna flip it over. We're gonna see. Moment of truth. Oh, my hand is stuck. That looks great. It couldn't have looked better. Wow. So I've let this cool a little bit and I'm going to ice it with the cream cheese icing. Oh, oh that smells good. Okay. So a couple blobs of this on it. Good start. Oh, it's melting. <laughs> it didn't cool it enough. Oh, I'm getting it crummy. Well, I've left some for the end so I can do another coat if I need to. Okay, so it's been iced. I'm gonna just sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon sugar on it. Bring up that cinnamony flavor. And some black currants. Oh, look at that, that looks beautiful. Sometimes simpler is better. And I think it's time to see what it tastes like. Look at that cake. That looks beautiful. I mean, it's just, oh, oh, if you could smell this, you're gonna have to make it because it smells really good. Okay, I'm gonna try this with a little piece, a little bit of the icing. Mmm. It's really nice, very subtle. The icing's not super sweet. The carrot really pops in flavor. The cinnamon, it's so nice. I look forward to hearing all of your comments and seeing what your favorite carrot cake is. Do you like putting pineapple in it? Maybe you're a raisin fan? So leave a comment and I look forward to seeing you again. Thanks for watching.